When it comes to pet projects, most middle-aged men stick to fixing up an old motorbike or even just the lawnmower. But here in the Somerset countryside, one man has a pet project that will take your breath away. Builder Neil Banwell has spent the last six years painstakingly restoring this Harrier jump jet, which saw action in the Falklands War. It's not many to see how it's left now, uh, that actually flew in the Falklands War. It's about, I think there's about seven left and the rest are in museums. Neil purchased a 43-foot-long Sea Harrier ZX494 for a modest £10,000 after seeing it on eBay. I bought the Harrier about seven years ago now. Um, it came up for sale on eBay. One of the reasons I bought it because um, it had Falklands history. It actually led the first attack on the Falklands War. Uh, later on it saw service in Bosnia. And even though wife Jo wasn't too happy with the purchase, Neil was thrilled with his new big boy's toy which came without its famous Rolls-Royce Pegasus engine. Yeah, this is, well, first of all, she wasn't too happy about it, but because it's on the campsite now and the campers like to come and see it, she's uh, quite proud to show people around it. And uh, we show people around all the time. Look, Dad, I'm flying a Harrier jump jet. <laughs> the 43-year-old has spent years scouring the internet and meeting with specialist dealers to bring back the jet to its peak condition. I bought uh, different parts at different times of the aircraft, sometimes on eBay, sometimes other contacts. Recently bought the proper seats, which I'm sitting in now. I'm still looking for more bits and pieces. Hopefully, I know a chap who's actually making a Sidewinder missile. So hopefully one day he might be able to make a copy and we can put a pair of Sidewinder missiles on as well. When it's on display, the Harrier is always a hit with families staying at the couple's campsite and even has admirers from collectors abroad. Early this year we did have an American chap who owns a museum. He's interested in buying it, but um, didn't really want to sell it, but I was open to offers, but we didn't come to anything in the end, so uh, it's going to stay here for a bit longer yet. For now, Neil is rejecting all advances for this incredible backyard project, and is determined it won't be jetting off anytime soon. Hopefully I've made quite a lot of money on it, if I ever come to sell it, which I don't think I ever will. It's going to stay here for a bit longer yet.